Good morning. When I was younger, we played with a Ouija board, knowing that it was our hands that moved the disc around to identify words that were supposedly coming from a departed soul. We considered it a game. However, it was pointed out that we were inviting a spirit to influence us in our actions and not the Holy Spirit. Was that wise? I remember sitting in a circle around a table, turning down the lights, having a candle and incense, calling it a seance, where things were said and done to try and conjure up a ghost. And then someone would secretly move something or make a sound to trick us into believing that it was really happening. But the truth is that it can happen. Evil spirits are at work in the world today. Could they be at work if we are inviting them to do so? As I grew in my faith in Jesus as my Lord, I learned from Scripture that God did not want me having anything to do with the occult. Nothing. Don't touch it. Don't look at it. Don't go there. Unbelievers go there. Believers go to our Lord for wisdom and guidance. I love what we read on Sunday from Isaiah. When they say to you, inquire of the mediums and the necromancers who chirp and mutter, should not a people inquire of their God? Should they inquire of the dead on behalf of the living? Of course not. So I decided that I would choose to abstain from anything that appeared to be occult-like. I did that. i not even sure if it was before I became a teenager. And that's why I've always chosen to abstain from Halloween. I know most people only see it as a game or a holiday, which it isn't, uh, something innocent and fun, which it isn't always innocent. You know, last uh, Halloween, when I was handing out candy to hundreds of children who came by my home seeking to be a good neighbor, I was taken back by the number of children who were dressed like zombies, witches, covered in blood, gore, and frightening images. I couldn't see how those kinds of costumes would please the Lord. For me, I've chosen to participate only so far as being a good neighbor. But dressing up in any way that appears dark or gory or evil, yeah, not going to do it. Don't want my children or grandchildren doing it. It's also why I've never been able to appreciate music that contained adult or occult images and words that were outright vulgar, sensual, or even demonic. I chose to abstain and instead, I listened to wholesome music by wholesome artists, preferably Christians. It's why I've never been drawn to TV shows or movies whose purpose is to make you afraid, to present images that are gruesome, occultish, horrifying. You know, most of us have challenges with anxiety. Why deliberately add more? Years ago, when the Harry Potter series came out, it was controversial because in many conservative Christian circles, there was legitimate concern that this would inoculate children about the dangers of wizardry, uh, spells, uh, witches, warlocks, the demonic. You know, each year I, I rehearse the true story years ago that I had when an evil spirit spoke to me through a man. It confirmed what the scriptures say, that demons are real. They do torment and their access comes through rebellious hearts. You turn away from God, and you're turning and opening yourself to someone who can steal, kill, and destroy. Rebellion is like the sin of witchcraft. I've prayed over people who were oppressed by evil spirits. I've become aware of just how real the enemy is, and so I don't want anything to do with him or his domain. I've learned if anyone willingly enters his realm and his practices, they open themselves up to his oppression. And the only way to get free is to renounce that involvement. So if anything even appears to be occultish, I've chosen to abstain. My goal is not to get as close to the world as I can. I want to get as close to the Lord as I can. And I want to get as far away from the devil as I can. I don't read horoscopes or thank any lucky star. I read the word and thank the Lord. In 1 Chronicles 10.13, we read, Saul died because he was unfaithful to the Lord. He did not keep the word of the Lord and even consulted a medium for guidance. Well, <laughs> that's an interesting note to make. Of all the things Saul did wrong, I mean, you think murdering 85 priests, it's like 
It's mentioned he consulted a medium. That was serious. It is serious to the Lord that we abstain from anything related to the enemy. Leviticus 19.31 Do not turn to mediums or necromancers. Do not seek them out, and so make yourselves unclean by them. I am the Lord, your God. Seek me, not them. So today, since he is our Lord, we will seek him. And if there's anything remotely occultish, get rid of it. Replace it with things that are true, right, noble, pure, admirable, excellent, praiseworthy. Philippians 4, 8. Let's pray. Lord, forgive us for any ways we've participated in ungodly practices. Today we repent and turn fully to you for you to forgive us, cleanse us, deliver us, and lead us this day, we pray. Now you continue. God bless you. Thank you for listening to Mornings with Pastor Jim. This podcast is a ministry of Family Church PC. For more information or to contact us, go to familychurchpc.com. Have a blessed day.